हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वैशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सम सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट ईच एंड एवरी टॉपिक्स इन डेटा बेस इन डिटेल विथ एग्जाम्पल्स वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट प्रैक्टिकल्स ऑफ डेटा बेस आई हेव मैंशन अ कम्प्लीट डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ एवरी यूनिवर्सिटी इन सेम एग्जाम वेलकम सो इन टूडे सेशन आई एम गिविंग यू अ क्विक एंड शॉर्ट रिविजन ऑन फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ डेटा बेस दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू डी बी एम एस लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट एक्जैक्टली डेटा बेस देर कंपोनेंट्स एडवांटेजेस डेटा एब्सट्रेक्शन लेवल्स डेटा इंडिपेंडेंस दैन डेटा बेस मॉडल्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ डेटा बेस प्लीज शेयर दिस प्ले लिस्ट दिस वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो सो दैट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर एवरी वन now the first topic is what exactly database database means a collections of structured data and accurate data stored in particular database as per the requirement what exactly database management system database management system allow users to efficiently create database to create table maintain and share database as per the requirement of particular project each and every sector a database management system is used for example railway reservation system library management system banking education sector then social media sites finance online shopping so everywhere database management system is used as per the requirement now the components of database there are main five components of database the first one is a data data means collections of structured information that have stored in database we can use different types of softwares and hardware for performing different practical demonstrations of database we use sql mysql oracle postgres sql this kind of softwares users in database there are different types of users users who create or develop a particular application and the users who use the particular application then procedure In database we used SQL that is structured query language for creating a particular project so there was a proper syntax proper structure and proper query regarding a particular project this is called as procedure now as per your exam point of view the most important question that is advantages of database over file system so there are total seven advantages you have to explain it in detail the first advantages is data redundancy database management system eliminate duplicate data in database they can't support the duplicate value next data sharing in database multiple user can access the same database at the same time without conflicting next data integrity database management system maintain accuracy reliability and valid data in database for that purpose they use different types of constraints next one is avoiding inconsistency database management system use different types of normalization form to maintain the structure of particular database next one is a transaction support this advantage mainly used in banking system account a send amount to account b so at that time credit debit this kind of operations have perform so database give you the assurance or guarantee so both transactions operations have perform accurately in particular time next advantage is enforcement of security database management system provide authentication and authorization features only authenticate user can access a particular system and they give the authority of particular user to perform read and write operations last one is the enforcing standard every company every organization they have their own standards rules and protocols so database administrator give the guarantee or ensure that system follow all standards and protocols as per the requirement so you have to prepare all these advantages in detail with examples now the next is data abstraction levels data abstractions means to show only essential information to the user and hide unrelevant information to the user there are total three levels physical level conceptual level and view level for exam purpose this diagram is one of the most important physical level physical level decide how your data is stored they decide actual location path of your database for example drive which type of file is there and type of database next one is a conceptual level 
conceptual level decide what data are stored in database basically they decide the structure of your table they decide rows columns relationship between the tables which type of keys and constraints are used so everything they decide the structure of entire table and database at conceptual level and the last one is a view level view level decide how data should be shown to the user there is only one database but one database have multiple views as per the requirement just take an example of college management system so college management system teachers having different view then students having different view parents having the different view in this way so you have to remember this physical level how conceptual level what data have stored and view level again how data should be shown to the user now the next topic is data independence data independence means there is a ability if you do any changes any modification in one level it didn't affect the another or higher level this is called as data independence there are total two types physical and logical data independence what is physical data independence if you do any changes in physical level it didn't affect on the conceptual level which is called as physical data independence for example if you do changes any location or file organization of particular database it didn't affect on conceptual level logical data independence means if you do any changes in conceptual level it didn't affect on the external level if you add or modify a particular table or add particular column in a particular table or database it didn't affect on the external level so this is called as data independence now there is a database model so there are total five types of database model hierarchical model means they show all the information in tree structure in hierarchy format like college then department again department had divided into the courses teachers and students in this way next one is a network model network model supports the graph data structure they show nodes and edges between that next one is a er model er model basically the view how your database and how your tables and relation between that so teachers works for department so this is called as er model entity relationship model relational model relational model means every data have sto stored in proper tabular format proper rows and columns are there and next one is a object oriented data model here all the data have stored in particular object and object are used to call the particular function so there is a proper attributes and methods are there so these are the database models now the next one is a structure of database management system so as per your exam point of view this diagram is most important so structure of database management system have total four components users query processor storage manager and disk storage first what are the users navy users navy users means we all are we use the particular application right we use whatsapp we use banking application so we all call as nav users next one is a application programmer means programmer or developer who write the particular code who develop a particular system sophisticated user means data analyst or sql developer they use query tools for generate a database to generate the query and next one is a database administrator database administrator who manage a complete database management system these are called as users next one is a query processor after executing a particular sql query what operations have performed which is called as query processor so there is a compiler and linker compiler convert low level programming language into the high level programming language sql query generally in english language but machine understand the binary language so this is a work of compiler to convert low to high level programming language linker is used to link additional library files then also there is a dml compiler dml compiler convert your sql queries in uh, different uh, in binary language then also ddl interpreters are there then all this binary language all this object code are stored into the application programming object code and now there is a query evaluation engine query evaluation engine is a mediator between logical level and the physical level they executed low level instructions generated by the dml compiler and query evaluation engine follow step by step instructions of execution plan generated by the query optimizer now the next one is a storage manager so storage manager first there is a buffer manager buffer manager decide that either your query stored into the secondary memory or cache memory 
if your story uh, queries are stored into the cache memory so they retrieve data from cache memory to main memory for execution purpose so this is a work of buffer manager file manager manage the space or disk of particular storage they manage the data structure used to represent the information on particular disk next authorization and integrity manager they ensure the data security and consistency they check the constraints and privileges of particular table and next one is a transaction manager transaction manager maintain the consistency of database if any system failure occur like power failure system crash or multiple users working on same time so they maintain the consistency without conflict and the last one is a disk storage so on disk storage there is a particular data is actually stored this is your actual database so data means a particular information that you stored into the database indices we use a particular primary key to access the data then data dictionary data dictionary means metadata means there is a rows columns then uh, the data types size of data types so every metadata have stored into the data dictionary and next one is the statistical data so statistical data decide the best way to execute the queries quickly and efficiently so this is a complete structure of database now next one is a database architecture so database architecture generally focus on design development implementation and maintenance of computer program there are two types of architecture first two tier architecture and second three tier architecture for two tier architecture this diagram is one of the most important see here there are total two tiers first tier is called as client tier that is front end user interface and second tier which is called as database tier so user interact with particular application means user can use a particular application by using laptop or mobile for example we can use whatsapp facebook banking application so front end interface is called as client tier so let's take a example of atm system in client tier there is a atm machine interface so user interact with the atm machine right they check the balance they withdraw cash or they transfer the money by using atm machine so they click on the button that have shown on the front end interface then after clicking on submit button so they atm application process and request the query to the database directly now on database database server validate the user details first okay there is a proper account numbers proper atm password is there so database validate it and as per the requirement they update the account balance and send response back to the atm so atm system is one of the best example of two tier architecture now the next one is a three tier architecture so there is a client layer then application layer and database layer so application layer is a additional one this is a middle between client and database layer so basically application layer connect user interface with the database so actual business logic is stored into the application layer let's take a example suppose online shopping website in client tier let's take a example of amazon app so customer visit amazon application right customer browse a particular products and like products they stored into the particular cart and make a purchase right so on client layer we use different front end programming language like html css javascript etc so front end interface is called as client layer now in middle between the application layer suppose on amazon user search a iphone 15 so they filter a particular uh, mobile application mobile memory or price range of particular product so as per the filter database process the request and fetch relevant data from the database right so application layer is a business layer they handle payment process authentication of user transaction logic order processing so every logic have maintained into the application layer for that purpose we use java python node js this kind of technologies and there is a database layer so amazon's database they contain the millions of product right so as per the filter as per the requirement of user they show the price availability and images of product suppose customer place an order so whatever the data stored in database this inventory is updated right so for that purpose we use different technologies like mysql postgresql mongodb and oracle database as per the requirement so this is called as three tier architecture 
so this is all about a complete unit 1 revision all the best thank you